today we're going to continue the series on the teaching on the last days, the second volume. And in the previous teaching we closed off uh, examining the person of the Antichrist and the false prophet and uh, what the reign will be like in the earth. And then we also had a look at how our Lord will destroy them at the Battle of Armageddon when our Lord actually does return to the earth to set up his millennial reign on the earth. Uh, today what we want to look at is uh, the topic of the his armies invading Israel. It's different. Um, and our Lord is not unjust. So he gives his first his disciples in AD 70 fair warning to get out of Jerusalem so that they don't have to incur what the Jews actually incurred when the Roman armies invaded. And our Lord's doing the same thing here again. He's saying, guys, you don't need to leave before. But when you see this sign happen, in that the anti he doesn't call him the Antichrist, he calls him the abomination of desolation. Now cast them out of heaven. Because currently that's where Satan and his, his angels uh, uh, reside. Spiritual wickedness in the heavenlies, uh, the book of Ephesians teaches us. But that is coming to an end. Now what will happen is Satan and his angels will be cast to the earth and recognize, okay, now time is very short. And so they will, with Satan specifically with great wrath, will then try to destroy Israel. Uh, he talks about a flood coming out of his mouth. But uh, God...